Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Well, weather on the west coast is as usual unpredictable. We again have rains. I was just able to find some nice day and make some flight nearby to the island and back. And again we have rains, low ceiling. So it's a good time to work on the airplane, right, on the build. And today I'm starting to work on the tail cone of my RV-10 airplane. As you remember in previous uh, in the previous videos, I have completed rudder, I have completed the actual vertical stabilizer, the horizontal stabilizer and finally I recently completed my elevators and now it's time for the tail cone, right? So I'm gonna be starting to build my tail cone as of this video. I don't know how long will it take and now I don't even want to think about that because my wings are still with vans and I'm not sure when I'm gonna get those. I hope I will get them by end of June, maybe end of July, but with this situation and with COVID as you know, no one can predict. Uh, in regards to my few words, in regards to my um, elevators, I think I will be redoing, rebuilding my trailing edges, most likely. Not sure yet. Let's. I need some time to rethink about it. I know nothing critical is there, and uh, it's as many of you commented, it's more aesthetic rather than when it's within the uh, the when is the deviation of the um, flatness within the limits. It's more aesthetical rather than critical. I will still try to consult with a couple of local builders just what they're gonna say, but worst case scenario, I will rebuild it. So my guess is I will have to use some, well, first of all, remove all rivets along the edge of the trailing edge, use some sharp knife to cut off the tank seal and I don't know how difficult will be that and do I need that at all, but we will come back to this later. For now is a tail cone, so let's start to work on the tail cone and let's look how this is gonna go. It's actually a big part, so I feel that I will need to little rearrange my working area because the table I have was good for to work uh, with the on the parts which I can easily move, but tail cone is big and probably I will need something else. I'll think about it. So for now, let's watch.
what has been done is uh, wow, lots of drilling, lots of cutting, lots of uh, deburring. It's just, well, I mean, comparing to everything else uh, I have done, like rudder, uh, elevators, well, tail cone, it's lots of drilling, just like huge amount of drilling. Because most of stiffeners, actually all stiffeners and all angles and all parts comes as, as the just aluminum part, right? So you have to prepare it, cut it, uh, de deburr it, drill it. But so far I have prepared um, lots of parts and now I have started assembly of the actual tail cone. So I basically started assembly of the tail cone. I started to attach all parts, install stiffeners and all that stuff. Well, so let's continue. Let's see how it's gonna go. And uh, so far, so good. Everything goes smooth. And uh, despite it takes lots of time for deburring, drilling, preparing, uh, it's fun. It's cool. So let's continue. Remember, I was telling you about like about 500 holes on the horizontal stabilizer and I said it lots to drill here. Well, forget about it, it was a joke. Here, each stiffener, I don't know, I'm just guessing, has about maybe 100 holes. We have 12 stiffeners, so it's a 1200 plus skin holes. So my guess just I bet for maybe 2,000 holes, maybe 2,000, yeah, probably about, maybe 2,200 holes in total just on tail cone. And all that I have to drill. I'm just wondering if I have four drill bits of the size 40. Well, I'm just curious if it's enough or I probably have to order more because, well, I don't know. I hope it's gonna be enough. Anyway, the saga is continuous. As you can see, I just added the, the side skin. Now I have to drill through holes, stiffeners inside the holes and click on them. And as you can see, I'm clicking them like one per three. So one click on, three holes, one click on. Three holes, one click on. Because I have about 700, so I'm not sure how many in total I will need. And I have to use all clickers. I have to spread them somehow equally because I will need all tail cone to be assembled before I can finish all much drilling and uh, before I can continue. So, well, it's going to be quite fun. Let's continue.
so good. And at the end of this video, we have some result. Let's take a look. This is our tail cone. So, first of all, as you can see, I have not completed everything yet. So, here we have still something undone. I also don't have enough clicos. But, with the same time, look how nice all that is. I attached two top skins. Sorry, it's not on the video, just because my battery was dead and I missed that moment. So, I was under impression that it's recording, but in fact, it hadn't. But anyway, look, so basically I just attached the skins, banded them and attached them on clickos. Now, that looks, and actually it is, real tail cone of the my of my Vans RV10 airplane. Yeah, of course I'm going to be adding some stuff here. I'm going to be adding here the oxygen tank. I'm going to be adding here battery mount. Here I'm probably going to be adding ELT. I'm going to have uh, on the sides here the air inlets. So, well, all that is will be done because it's not yet attached. So I still have amount of time to do everything and after I'll disassemble the tail cone I'll still have to go through all that but for now it is like it is and it, I like how it looks like so finally it is the tail of my airplane and I just can't wait until it all gets from clickers to rivets so get riveted and I will attach my vertical stab, horizontal stab, so wow, it's gonna look amazing. For now that's the result, and that's the result of actually more than a week of work, and to be honest, so many holes to drill, that was like over 2,000 holes, even more than that, but I like how it looks like, I'm happy, and uh, next video I'll continue to work uh, towards completion of my uh, tail cone. It looks good, and I'm quite happy about that. Alright, see you next video. Take care and bye.